All right, ladies and gents, welcome, welcome. We've got some Serengeti and a very open map here between two players that are certainly no strangers of it. Uh, this is part of a series. It's a best of three in Titans League Silver. And uh, the winner of this series will move on to play a best of five. And if they win that, they have to play another best of five. And then if they then they should be good. You have to win four rounds, and then you qualify to gold, which confirms you in the top 50 in the world. Uh, certainly very tough to get there, though. We've been looking at top-tier talents all day. And the fact that, like, you know, player like Survivalist or Tomate could win here, and they're probably not even a favorite in the next set, tells you how stacked those brackets can be. But we're not going to talk as much about that. We're going to talk about the game, and the map is open, and we have Survivalist going for the Malay. I know Survivalist pretty well, and I think he's a really good ladder player. And there was a large period of time where he would go tower rushing with Malay. Because you advance faster to the next stage with Malay, most people will instead delay clicking up to the next stage. Because for a normal strategy, you get up so fast on like 19 or 20 pop that you can't afford to make buildings. But what you could afford to make is towers. So if I had to guess right now, just knowing Survivalist, I would say that he's going to actually go for towers. Now, what I would describe about um, Tamate is that he's a talented player. However, I think he's better when it comes to hybrid maps. So I don't know what home map he's going to pick, but I would expect like Golden Swamp or Cross or something like that. He's really good on those settings. Uh, wow, almost had an issue with an elephant there. But he has gone for the more standard pick here, where he's going to try and go for scouts. Um, I have probably played both of these players over like uh, 40 or 50 times. <laughs> I've played the, these guys a lot. And I was trying to think of my favorite. And I would have to see the draft, honestly. But I think I give Survivalist a slight favorite. I, I think he's a slight favorite because of... There's quite a few closed maps in the pool, and I think he's only going to have to want to play on one hybrid. But it's pretty close to 50-50. Also, we're going to put Tomate as red because of his name, because he's from Spain, and also because it's just easier to see. So someone pointed that out. So he's now a, a, a tomato color, a.k.a. Tomate. All right. But yeah, I mean... I could be wrong about the strategy for Survivalist, but still really feel like this is going to be Towers just because of what I've seen from him in the past. You could just go for Archers or Scouts or Infantry. You could go for a standard opening. Uh, and I think that Malay is like... I, I think they're a bit underrated on standard openings because that age-up time is pretty wild. So uh, The other maps are... Cross and Ravines. Okay, so Tamate definitely picked Cross, which is what I had expected, right? Actually, I in the future, if anyone ever plays Tamate, you should definitely ban Cross. Sorry, Tamate. <laughs> I'm surprised Survivalist didn't ban that, but he probably didn't know. Um, yeah, and then and then Ravines makes sense because it's like a, a map that can go on for a very long time, and, and Survivalist's weakest point in his play is probably... Dark Age, Feudal Age, but the longer the game goes, the better he can be. Good question. So, Slackbreaker, the way the first map is selected, um, you'd, it'd be easier if someone linked to the draft for you, but basically you have ban, ban of maps. So, back and forth, ban, ban. Pick, pick. And then, ba 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 ban. You just go back and forth, ban, 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 banning, banning maps. And then after you ban maps, there's one map remaining, and that's your game one. So, you kind of have a say in what the first game is, but it's not in the traditional sense. So it's the best way to have like a mutual uh, pick, so to speak. And Survivalist is up on 21 pop, which isn't that crazy. And Tamate's just going to take these goats here because Survivalist didn't do anything with them. A bit odd there from Survivalist and a bit sloppy to just lose 200 food like that. And there he goes on the way to the next stage. Okay, so I'm ex assuming we're going to see scouts here. Really like this lumber camp from Survivalist. It's actually really efficient for all the villagers, and it's actually kind of easy to wall them in as well, for now anyways. 
This lumber camp is also really good. Like, that's the way you want to make lumber camps on this map. You want to make it in the wood because of all the gaps. There's usually a spot. He kind of did the same over here. <clears throat> all right. Well, survivalists probably won't be surprised to see scouts. Remember, the Hindustanis have cheaper villagers in each age. And they've got some great weapons that they can get to later on. For the Malay, it's not necessarily going to be their weapons. It's just going to be the fact that they have better eco. Um, but losing 200 food there was really bad for survivalist. I mean, it didn't even show a reaction there. I think he could have popped out and he could have taken one back. And that might actually change his whole strategy here. Like, I think he wants to go for a stable, but now he's like, I need farms. So he might just go spear defense and he does get slightly housed here. And Tomate's scouts are coming forward, obviously going to be looking for villager kills. Nice hit there from Survivalist. And I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with Survivalist position as long as he does get the farms down. He just can't counterattack, but he's not, you know, that, that very much suits his style. Like, this is not something you see Survivalist do a lot. It, it, he doesn't open strong, typically. Yeah. But what he does do is he stays in the game, stays in the game, and oh, found his goats. Better late than never, and then... He's able to dominate in the later stages, which I guess is also kind of the melee too, in some ways. Because you spend less time researching the next to go going up to the next stage. Well, nice, old, oh, nice blocking there from survivalist. Uh, because of that fact, you do have extra vills in most cases. Though survivalist got town watch and also was housed, so kind of eliminates that lead for now. Oh, man. It feels like Scout Skirm will be such a problem for Survivalist. He needs Scouts. His Skirms are great against the Spears. He's going to go to Gold now, which has me all confused at the moment. But he's defended nicely. Got our first kill of the game right there. Tamate must be thinking, well, this is my time to do damage. My opponent doesn't have army right now. Like, he has zero army. I've got to go kill him. The eco is fine, but it feels like the perfect eco to have military buildings with, right? Like, Survivalist doesn't have archer ranges. He doesn't have stables. But Tomate's been a little sloppy. Didn't take a hit there. And wow, Survivalist actually getting a market? Well, there's not enough scouts to just massacre villagers, but they'd whittle them down for sure. And now Survivalist adds a stable. So this is him surviving. He's, he put himself in an awkward spot, a spot that you would never really want to be in. It's not ideal. Let's see how he manages this, and let's see if Tamate can actually finish the guy off, because he's got to use the skirms against the spearmen. And he still only has three scouts. Okay, villagers exposed. Still no villagers killed. Oh, man, the micro is so insane here. It's so intense for both of them. It's not easy. And now Survivalist adds a tower, because he knows this is getting out of hand. I think, though, if you see the tower, you're actually kind of okay with this if you're Tamate. Um, I think you just have to make more scouts and you kill the vills everywhere else. The survivalist trying his best to save villagers here and will do so and traps the scout on the other side. And now he's making scouts. Oh my god! Oh, he almost trapped it. The ranged units were a great idea from Tamate, but he just didn't have the scout numbers here, guys. There was villagers here he could have killed, villagers here he could have killed. Survivalist still in it. And he sells all of his wood and he buys food. So he's just leaning on that market. Really hard to micro in these scenarios, to be fair, though. So it's, it's not something that I can be too judgmental on. Like having to pull back the scouts all the time. Not so easy. Okay. Spearmen also need to be a focus if you want to add more scouts back into the mix. And I think Tamate is just confused. And also castle my king with the... Crazy Dono, thank you for that. Holy. I appreciate that, and you're welcome. I'm doing my best out here, so. <laughs> Survivalist has just been able to get by, and, and I think, like, you know, if you look at the top 20, Survivalist would have lost six vills already. There would be one or two additional scouts, the micro would have been slightly better, and Survivalist would be done. But he's staying alive, and he's in, I think, the better position. Bought the stone for that tower. That protects his only wood line. Maybe even in a position to counterattack soon. 
And he could shift back over to this wood line if he needs to. You can see Tamate is like had set the gather point forward with the other bits of army he had. Because he wanted this to meet up with the other group. Oops, sorry about that. That's a mouse misclick. And survivalist. I, I think he's gonna go elephants, man. <laughs> elephants would make so much sense here, right? You have food, you have gold. Yo, we're gonna see elephants. He better go elephants. That's the gamer move. Um, hey T90, isn't there a risk players use live cast like yours to see the whole map? Uh, there is a risk, but this is a recorded game. And oftentimes there's a delay based on what the caster sees and what everyone else sees. So uh, there are there are rules that kind of account for that. So this series was played a little bit earlier in the day. And yet Survivalist is just getting by. Like he made way less army. Tamate wasn't solid enough with the micro and the pressure to be able to get the damage done. And again, I'd love to see a Survivalist taking some nice trades. I personally would love to see a stable. Like, Malay uh, elephants are really cheap. I mean, his eco balance is, is also really crazy. Let's see what Survivalist plans on doing with this. He's abandoning food. Okay. <laughs> okay. You gonna go for a TC? Are you gonna boom? He's gonna make a couple elephants. There's nothing more frustrating, by the way, than making all of that army and then having these extra scouts just pick off villagers like you weren't able to do the entire time. It, these archers will contribute nothing for Tamate. He's, he's shell-shocked right now. He can't believe this is happening. And he probably will lose a villager to these scouts. Not the best grouping there for survivalists, so maybe not. Okay. No real pressure for survivalists at all this game. He just doesn't have any interest in it. Drops the town center. Lots on stone. Like he wants to drop a castle and go for Karambit Warriors. A little misclick there for him. He placed a lumber camp. Maybe he... Oh, he doesn't have a blacksmith yet, of course. Tamate clicks up at a reasonable time with the amount of pressure that he put down. But he just didn't kill the vills he would have wanted. And here he goes now. Now we have husbandry for these elephants as they're going to go in here. That's a lot of HP. That is 750 HP against 159. I know your micro is good, Tamate, but that's just a lot of work. And it seems to me like he really wants to commit towards the archers. He's got more archers coming. Crossbowman and Bodkin Arrow on the way. Husbandry makes the elephants faster, but they're not faster than the archers are. They're more along the lines of the same speed, I think. Uh... Yeah, just like 0 0.02 speed slower. Which is enough. And the crossbows are now looping over here. And Survivalist just continues to, well, survive. He's got a villager lead. But he's not been aggressive at all. And this is what I thought would be so cool between these players. Because they're so different from each other. But again, it's the same thing as before. If you don't do damage with all this investment, you're left with a worse eco. And then Survivalist can push you back. And the husbandry move, the elephants is just enough. The scorpion's going to be just enough. And the eco is better for survivalists. So he lost three vills. We do have a second town center now for Tamate. But Tamate's got to be thinking like, oh my god, what do I do right now? Great game. Great game from both players. The worry I ha would have if I'm survivalist is, what's my long-term unit comp? But I think he's actually going to go Karambit Warriors. Which is actually a really good unit against the Civ that can't make knights. That's an amazing unit against the Civ that can't make knights. Only other thing Hindustanis could do would be... I mean, I think the Ghulams would be okay, but I think they'd lose out. Oh god. 5 HP Elephant, 3 HP Skirmisher. Oh, there's something going on over here. But this is more interesting. There's something going on over here, too. But this is way more interesting. Oh, you can get it. You can get it. Get it, elephant. Go. Go. Got him cornered. GG. Well played. All right. Crossbow's looping around. Ballistics on the way now. Castle on the hill. Survivalist knows he's exposed on that side. He knows he's locked down over here. Elephants and scorpions. 
Starts to lose some villagers, though. He hasn't killed a single vill this game. His only counterattack was with scouts. Uh-oh, ballistics is in. Castle will go up. It's just how many villagers will Tamate kill? One, two. Nice dodging from survivalists. Very well played. Tamate's going to have to back out of here. And this is actually a real force now. Like, <laughs> this is not something you thought you'd have to deal with. Wow. Elephants and scorpions. It's so good, though. It's really good. No one, like, very few players will actually play into this composition. And the weakness is really the early game and how exposed you leave yourself. But his eco's great. You kind of need, like, monks, I think, if you're Tamate. But certainly, this is not something he's trying to do at the moment. Like, pikemen's not a great idea, right? Because the scorpions are there. So you, you really need to have conversions, I think, to help you out. And, oh, man, Tomate's really... He's good runner work with the spearmen, but he's really out of ideas at the moment. I think he's trying to buy time so he can complete that town center. Normally, you see town center number three come up in a boomy game. Survivalist, though, with karambits, with elephants, with scorpions, man. And I don't actually mind this. I don't mind just taking out the buildings. Because that's the only army your opponent's making. Now, I think counterattacking is, is a great idea right now if you're Tomate. But if you do that, then Survivalist obviously is going to know um, that you're not at home. And then maybe dive bomb your town center. So it's really tricky. Survivalist is trying to raid with a couple Karambits. Really trying to take control now of the sides. Love the town center. Unfortunate for him, he can't town center the gold, but it's still next to it. And these Malay elephants, as the Legend of the Liar showed us a year or two ago, guys, they're actually really good. And they're especially good at taking out buildings, too. Uh, this is interesting. I wonder if Survivalist will notice this. He does. Okay, because he's going to town center that gold now. And I don't see a way back for Tamate the way this game is going. He doesn't look like he has an army comp. He knows what he, he can do something with. There's potential for Survivalist to just loop in on both sides with little Karambit raids. The main ball still can't be dealt with. And Survivalist economy is, is perfect at home. Why did he go Scorps when there were no spears out yet? The Scorpion, like if you're only going to have Siege against Archers... This isn't a perfect way to describe it, but this is probably the best way to break it down. So if you're only going to have Siege against Archers, you go for the Mango in most cases, if you have the gold. If you're going to have a combination of a Knight unit, or in this case, an Elephant, and uh, Siege, Knight Scorpion or Elephant Scorpion is generally pretty good. Now that is sloppy there from Survivalist. That's not something that normally happens, but I think he may have reacted to this. And that shows you the beauty of counterattacking. And suddenly, Tamate, he can convert all these elephants. And that's not something Survivalist will want to see. To lose his elephants, his opponent will then have elephants, which makes the scorpions less effective. He's going to have to macro like a madman at home and prep for his next plan. Still completely forgot about these. I feel like these running back into the farming eco was the original plan. Now we're going to have camels, it looks like. From Tamate. Again, an amazing game here, right? Like, I knew these two would be so close. Those Hindustani camels in com combination with the crossbows are pretty good. But, like, I don't know. The camels aren't that great against the elephants. You're kind of okay seeing your opponent make a few camels, too, if you have a castle. I think survivalists should just commit to the Karambit warriors now. A couple Karambits heading back here right now. Okay... Mm now, the thing about a Karambit is they're really low HP, and they're really low base attack, but they're also half population space, and they're cheap. So, I, I, we're not seeing heavy commitment from Survivalist on them, actually. He's not making much army at all right now. But it is something. It's still 7 attack. And Survivalist has been on this gold, and Red noticed it because he had a Spearman over there earlier, and Survivalist reacts to it. And Tamate is going to have to react to this. And hasn't done so yet, but now he reacts. But then again, you, you like get kind of sucked out of other positions and other areas you want to focus on. Castle here would be epic for Survivalist, because then you have so much stone and gold locked down. 
this gold is actually really important, but he can't take it right now. The TC is actually going to go down. I feel like Survivalist senses this well. It's like he knows this TC is a target. And he's just trying to get the relics for the late game. Uh, that should be a uh, dead monk there, but does get a conversion too. And okay. 18 to 3 Eco KD. But I think the economy is stronger for Survivalist, or at least slightly stronger. And I think we'll have a better position too, because he's going to have two castles while his opponent will have one. And he'll be in the Imperial Age, though I'm not sure what his plan is. As Actually, as I say that, the Karambits come in. Yeah. It's the last thing Tamate would ever expect in the back of his base, because the units were sitting there idle for so long. It's like it was part of the strategy to forget about them. <laughs> and this will mean Tamate gets gold. Tamate is also clicked up to Imp, but he's so exposed, man. Like, I could be wrong, but I feel like just raiding with Karambit Warriors wins you this game. Look, he's sitting over here as well. Also really smart. Just research things in this TC because you don't want to produce out of it anymore. What's your unit composition if you're Tamate? He's going to make more crossbows. He doesn't get Arbalest with the Hindustanis. Are the Malay a counter? I don't think they're a counter. But I actually I don't think they're bad because they don't rely on stable units. And... Sure, they can go into archers, which Hindu Sunnies could, in theory, counter. But then you, their unique unit is better, I, I, though I haven't seen a lot of it, than the Ghulam. I also think it's a style thing. I think that the way Survivalist plays is very suited for Malay. And this is an economy that cannot be raided right now. Also, Survivalist has the relic advantage. What he really needs is gold control, and he's going to get that on the left. And he's just got random Karambits everywhere. This must be super annoying for Tamate. And every time he deals with one Karambit, there's going to be another Karambit showing up. Oh, was Handcart denied? That's kind of funny. Yeah, Tamate is going to have such tough work on his hands if Survivalist continues to do this. My thing is, Survivalist needs to actually go for like a Death Ball push as well. And it looks like he's massing for it. Look how, look how many Karambits he has in Q. Oh my goodness. There's a castle going up. This Karambit though, getting more kills. More and more villager kills. This is obviously a very important area for Tamate, who has seen a decent amount of the map, knows this TC has gone up as well, but now sees the Karambits and is like, what? What is that, man? You have to go chemistry and you have to go for hand cannons. If you're Hindustani's here, you absolutely need to click chemistry. He's going to go Hussar. Ooh, I don't know about that one. I mean, he wants mobility. By the way, MVP Karambit over here doing a great job. And I get wanting mobility. I don't mind the Hussar. But I think if you can get chemistry at the same time, that would be ideal because then you can mix it later. And now Survivalist is getting handcarded. Very clean play from Survivalist. Great job from Tamate. Ever since he didn't do the damage early on in Feudal. You don't get ARP. Like, th this is a Castle Age army. Granted, I mean, Survivalist is missing some defense upgrades, but maybe attack should be priority anyways on a unit that has so little HP. Ooh, units are actually able to get out of here, though. Uh, be curious to see where the next couple castles go. It feels like a castle here or here is needed for Tamate. Let, let's see how this fight goes. Uphill for Survivalist. No Castle Age armor. The Hussars didn't get the position they wanted here. They would have wanted to be in front of the crossbows, protecting the crossbows. I think the Krambits will do a pretty decent job here. And then they're so cheap, right? So he could have like 80 of them. Yeah, they're amazing. And then look at him go. He's got more on the ready. 54 of them. And it only takes up 20-some population space. Also, I mean, he's got better food eco as well, right? So there's that. I think his next castle should go here, Survivalist, to secure more stone and gold. And he's even going to try and be greedy and take that gold right now. 
But this has to be tracked, right? You absolutely have to track this. There's just so much blue everywhere. Yeah, this is wild. I don't think you can stop this right now if you're a Tomate. There's just too many fires to put out. Survivalist will have to react there, and he'll lose villagers here. And it's a great castle from Tomate on this side. Tomate's playing out of his mind, but how does he deal with this, and how does he deal with this? I guess the only positive is he's already taken that gold. Wow, this is crazy. Well, hold on a second. The Hussars and the Elephant could kill all these villagers, too. But how do you kill the Karambits? There's 87 of them! And they'll be, they'll be fully upgraded now. They haven't been fully upgraded this whole time. Even if Survivalist loses 20 vils, he still has so much economy that's untouched in his main base. And it's so easy for him to make more Karambit Warriors to just clear up the sides. Sick play from Survivalist here, game one. Karambit Warriors, Serengeti. And Serengeti has brought more variety in Silver League than we saw in Gold League and Platinum League Season 1 combined. Just saying. <laughs> uh, I think it's time to cancel the whole concept and, like, the best players don't even get to play anymore. We're just going to make it for the guys that are out of the top 50 just for content. Because <laughs> seriously, we, we've seen so many crazy strats. This is amazing. Props to the players, obviously. There's still no answer. Even if you raid, there's still no answer to the Karambit Warrior. I think it all comes back, though, to how the early game was played. Survivalist was so exposed. Tamate couldn't get the job done. He couldn't kill Vils. He could have killed, like, five or six Vils in Feudal, had a faster castle time, snowballed it from there. Didn't get... Wasn't able to make that happen, and... It's game one. Right? So, he's going to fight on. He's probably going to be shocked when he sees his population is what it is, though. 84 population. And these little karambits are everywhere. 115 of them. Again, they take up half a population space, these little karambit warriors. TCs will go down. Chemistry could even be denied if Survivalist wanted to go after the university, but I don't think he really cares. He's got these little termites all over the map right now. So, obviously well played. TC will also melt. Arson's on the way too. Squires wasn't in. Castle will complete. There's no way you stop this if you're Tamate. Tamate can't believe it. And he calls the GG. What a unique use of the melee there. Yes, there were weaknesses in the early stages. It did get rough around the edges here. But you know, we got to see so many bonuses in the melee. From the advancing faster to the next stage. Which is just going to happen regardless. But then the cheaper elephants in combination with the scorpions looked good. But then also the Karambit Warriors. Uh, felt like the defensive castles were well-timed from Survivalist. And it felt like right after he lost his elephants, and then his opponent continued to make crossbows, it was clear that Tamate didn't know what to do. <laughs> because you don't get Arbalest. And you don't get Knights. So, camels aren't going to be the way to do that either. It was actually a really good unit to have. I gotta love the most created unit, by the way, at 195. Still took up less than 100 pop space, by the way. Maleo P? Question mark? 10,000 more resources collected there from the winner of game one. We gotta have ourselves a series, guys. Remember, I think Tamate's a beast on cross, so I'm curious to see what happens in the next game.